There is a new government tonight in South Korea. Park Chung-hee, who ruled the country for more than 18 years, is dead. The new government announced that President Park was killed by a shot fired accidentally by the head of South Korea's Central Intelligence Agency at a dinner party Friday night in downtown Seoul. However, there are other reports that indicate the shooting may not have been accidental. And Park's chief bodyguard and four others were also killed. We have two reports on this still developing story tonight. First, here is Bill Redeker. This is the sort of martial law that led up to today's apparent coup. Although the major disturbances of last week have been quelled, sporadic incidents such as this have continued. President Park Chung-hee, who has ruled this country for 18 years, imposed martial law because of anti-government riots. But now, these troops, which clamped military control on two southern Korean cities, have been ordered to enforce martial law in the capital city of Seoul. Although details are sketchy, a government spokesman says that Prime Minister Che Kyu Ha has assumed the position of president because, quote, something has happened to President Park. Martial law is the only certainty with a strict overnight curfew imposed throughout Korea. Bill Redeker, ABC News. This is Britt Hume at the State Department. When word of the developments in Korea reached here this afternoon, a statement was immediately issued saying the United States would stand by its treaty obligations to defend South Korea against any external attempt to exploit the situation. However, the statement said the United States regards the events in South Korea as an internal matter, meaning they do not involve North Korea. Confidential reports reaching here tonight say that President Park Chung-hee was assassinated in an attempted coup by members of the army. However, the coup was blocked by forces loyal to Park, and the government is believed in firm control. Indeed, the government issued a statement tonight blaming Park's death on an accidental gunshot fired by the head of the Korean Central Intelligence Agency. Britt Hume, ABC News, at the State Department.